Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can level up your Tar Sintana using Command Button. Now, I love managing my Tar Sintana. It means that I am in control of how I want to do my task management, but it can often get annoying when you have to open up each node, change fields, uh, change statuses, all of those kinds of things. And so today I want to show you three quick command buttons that I've set up that make it easy to manage my tasks so I can spend less time managing and more time actually doing. So let's get into it. Now we're going to look at three different buttons. The first one is a button that changes the status. The second one is a button that changes the type of task. And the third is a button that inserts the date that you want to do that task on. So when you want to add a command button, what you want to do is you come to your super tag, click on it and press configure. That brings up your configuration screen. And then we're going to scroll all the way down go to advanced and then we're going to find our commands field and this is where we can add any commands that we want to happen on this particular super tag now what i find is that people are not using command buttons because either they don't know the kinds of commands that they want to add in uh, they don't know how to add commands or it just all feels a little too complex and complicated. But the best commands are actually the simplest ones, okay? And a lot of my command buttons are just simply changing a field status from one thing to the next. I think the thing to really remember with commands is how does one thing move through a process, okay? If you can understand that, and if you can start to understand the process that things go through, then you can start to see whether a button can move from one thing to the next easily, all right? So to get these commands in and working, all you need to do is type the name of the command or the button that you want to show up. So for this one, we wanna change a status. So if we have a look here, if I open up this task, I've got some different task statuses. So what happens is when a task comes in, uh, I always mark it as incoming. That means it goes into my inbox and I can process it in the right way at the right time. Once it goes from incoming, I then want to move it to parked. And that means that it's ready um, and it's available for me to choose to work on. If I want to work on it in the next week, then I move it into up next and then I move it into done or it could be recurring, all of those things. So let's say we want to add a button that changes the status from incoming to parked. All right. So all we need to do is come back over here and we're going to call this button parked. OK, so whenever we click it, we want the status to change to parked. So you just press convert to command node. That means that it changes from a normal node to a command and you get all of the commands in here. Now, next thing you want to do is press the at and you, all of the commands are kind of going to come up. There are a lot of them. All right. The one that we want and the one that I use the most is this second one here, which is set field values. And all that does is it just takes a... Uh, one value and changes it to another or takes no value and changes it to another value. Okay, so how you set this up is you press add configuration and then we want to add the field that we want to change. So in my setup, it's called task status. So we're going to search for that field and all we're going to do is we're going to press shift and period and that's going to bring up our field here. And then we're going to type task status and we're going to find the field that we're looking for. All right, really easy. And then we want to change this to parked. All right, we're going to close it. And that is as simple as it is to add a button to your task. I told you this is not complicated. So if I press this button parked, it changes to parked. And then if I change this back to incoming, we press it again, it's going to change. All right. Now what we don't want to happen is all of these buttons clogging up our super tags. Okay. So one of the things that you should do to all of your commands is think through when do you want this button to show up and when don't you want it to show up? So we do that through node filters. So all we have to do here is just 
enter another line instead of entering entering at we're just going to go shift period that's going to bring up a field and we want to press filter or we want to type filter type that in and then what we want to happen is that any time the node filter is not parked we want the button to show up all right so how we do that is we're going to add another field so shift period and we're going to type at not and we just want to find this system field which is not that just means that then we can add another field okay and we're going to find our field which is our task status so we what we want is the task status whenever it's not parked okay so because we've got here um, we want this button to show up so let's have a look what happens so now that our task status is parked we don't have a parked button. But if we change this back to incoming, now we have parked. So if I'm, if I don't want to open the node, all I have to do is go parked and know that now that status is parked and it's ready to go. And that's how easy a button can be. All right, so let's talk about button number two, which is to add a type. Now, all of my tasks, I actually give a type and it's called an action type. And my tasks basically have a few different actions that I uh, tend to do. So some of them could be tasks that I need to write. So I need to write a blog post or I need to write an email newsletter. Some of them will be build. So I need to build an app or I need to build a button. So I do a lot of building. Um, I do a lot of reviewing. So that's another task action type. So. Uh, you might have different kinds of action types. Uh, you might have different kinds of ways of categorizing your tasks. This is how you can actually add those in. Okay, so it is pretty much the same as the status. So all we're going to do is come over here. And let's say we want to add a button that that adds the right status to a uh, to an action. So uh, we're going to start with our emoji. Okay, this one here. We're going to convert it to a command node just by clicking. Then we're going to add our node filter. Okay, so shift period and then just go filter. We are going to add our field. Okay, and the field we're looking for is the action field. And what we want to happen is to go at not set. Okay, so how what's going to happen here is that any time the field is empty, this action or this button is going to show up. So once you've done that, then you want to add a new line and we're going to type our command and we're looking for again the set field values command. So anytime you want to change a field, okay, so from one thing to the next or from nothing to something, this is the command to use. So go add configuration. We're going to find our field by pressing shift period and we're looking for action and we want it set to right. All right, so if we come back over here, we can, you can see the button shows up here. And now we have a right action. And you can then duplicate this for as many different actions or as many different types of tasks that you want. All right, so the third button that we're gonna add is a button that adds today's date to your task. So if you need to do something today, you can click on that and you know that it needs to be done today. This is gonna use a little bit of a different command. It's called the insert relative date command. So let's have a look. If we come back over here to our commands, we're going to add a new one called today. We wanna to convert it to a command node as usual. And then we're going to go at, and we're gonna find insert relative date. Now in this particular command, there are just a few more fields that we have to configure, but it's not complicated, so don't worry. Now, the first one that we wanna do is relative date string. Now, all this means is what date do you want it to show, okay? So all we want, I'm gonna just go now, all right? You can also go today, um, but I just wanna show now. Whatever the date is now, that's what it's gonna show. So what we're gonna do is just go shift and enter 
just to get a new um, line and then uh, shift period and we want to go date time granularity okay choose that and we want this to be day all right so all that means is that when this returns whatever now is it's going to be set to a day then the last one is we want to add the target node. So what node should the date be put into? And then all we want to do is come back over here, find our task. Now I've got a field that is for due date and it is a, um, it's a date field. So just come and grab the link. Okay, so just press Command K and get link to node. Bring it back over here and then we're just going to paste it in, all right? So now what should happen is we should have a little button over here that says today and when we press it, today's date shows up, okay? Now imagine you didn't have this button, okay? And you had to open this, go to due date, find the date that you wanted okay that's a lot of clicks and it's a lot of time that you waste going into every single node saying you want to do it today instead you can just press today and it shows up now again once that is today's date we don't want it to show so we're going to add our node filter just by coming back in here and closing this and then above we're just going to go shift period add our filter in and what we want is for a, the field of due date again to not be set okay not set there we go close and then now our button's gone away and if I remove that you can see today is back there Right now, if you wanted to add another button that was tomorrow, you could easily do that just by duplicating it. So Command K, whoops, Command K, duplicate, and then you could turn this to tomorrow. And all you have to do is edit the configuration, and instead of being now, be tomorrow. All right, so then you could change this to tomorrow, and that's gonna come up with tomorrow's date. If you want it to be next week, next Monday, whatever that is, you just have to think about how that's interpreted. So do you want it to be, if I want it to be next Monday, just type in next Monday, all right? So it's actually really simple. Uh, and I could say, so we'll just press tomorrow. That's gonna be next Monday. So as you can see, with only a few simple buttons, you can make a lot of things happen so that you can spend less time managing your tasks and more time actually doing them. Now, this doesn't just apply to tasks. Whatever super tags and things that you have in Tana, you can apply these same kinds of buttons and principles to any of them. All you have to think about is what process does my thing go through and what are the actions that I'm taking constantly by opening and closing nodes that I could possibly do with a button? So if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I create videos on how to level up your Tana workspace and your knowledge life every single week.